Kieran and Power and Harley done. Well done lads, winning the four year old Geldens Maiden today with Marcus Furious, a horse by Centurion, uh, the, the sire's first runner, Harley. Um, tell us a little bit about the sire. Yeah, the uh, sire's, uh, sire's first runner. Not very little about him, I don't think there's a whole lot on the ground. This will be his uh, first crop. I don't think there's very many of them around this year. I think his bigger crops are coming to, uh, to follow. Um, we got him late, uh, Stephen Cousins bred him and he rang me one day and I went down and I, I looked at a couple of hours and one I two, picked him two. out and um, I said to Luke, uh, well, Luke Murphy, uh, I, had no, I had no space from him so Luke took him down and that was on the, around the last week of September sometime and he was unbroken, he was never touched or nothing, you know, uh, good work for the horse to get to the races even today because he was a long way behind everything, he had no sales prep, no nothing, you know. You fancied him today, so didn't you really? We did, um, I actually done the paperwork for him yesterday, that's how much I fancied him. To go to Doncaster. To go to Doncaster. I like it, Harry. Confidence. Yeah, confidence. Ah, no, so look, the horses are healthy and well, and yeah, no, he's, he, he hadn't got a whole lot on grass done, but he's worked on the gallops at home and in the couple of places that we had went since we moved to the field. It was very good. He shows a lot, a lot of speed at home. Our fear was that would he stay? Because um, he was so fast, a very fast horse. Um, so yeah, no, we did. We were very confident about this lad. And Tiernan, of course, you rode the horse to victory. That's your ninth winner of the season, your last ride of the season as well, and that's your fortieth winner overall in point to points. Uh, tell us a little bit about the horse first. Um, as we've seen him jumping the last, he was very quick going down to the last and won very comfortably. Yeah, um, it was great to get the forty winner. Everyone counts and finish up like that for the summer. Um, he's a very simple horse at home, you know, he's straightforward, he schools very well, but like Harley said, we didn't know much about him before he came, but um, he took to everything well and he was easy enough to ride here today. Harley just said jump him off fourth, fifth, sixth, kind of, wherever he was comfortable, and he jumped and travelled everywhere. Probably thought I got there a little bit too soon, but at first he kept finding a way and he quickened, quickened the whole way to the straight and had a bit of a job pulling him up, so it's exciting horse now going forward really. A good season all around, nine winners as I said on the board, you're 40 overall, uh, you're a bit of a ball boy throughout the season, so you, you had to sit on the, on the, on, in the ball corner uh, suspended a few occasions, but overall happy with how the season went? Uh, yeah, it has to be happy. Um, very slow getting going, and then I get a bit of a run, and like you say, a, bit, a few suspensions here and there. And but um, no, it was a good season overall. Finished up very good in the last month or six weeks. And Harley, uh, that's Tiernan's ninth winner and your tenth winner train. So good year for you, training wise. Yeah, good year. Slow. Uh, Look, Tiernan said his year was slow starting, but he's, he's with me five days a week. And I think we had six, seven for the autumn, like, and uh, most of them ended up being five-year-old horses. Um, so, like, for him to have a slow start, sure, I was having a slow start, so it was kind of work for both of us, you know. But and then we got a bit of a delay. Then in the middle of it, had to move the yards uh, to the field and stuff, and it was tough work there for a while. But yeah, the, we finished up very strong. The two of us. Uh, the winning line is coming at us too soon. We dropped in too far and we're coming too late. We love another couple of weeks of it, but sure. Yeah, no, good end of the year, yeah. Good exactly. year Exactly, ended on a good note. And tomorrow morning you head off to Doncaster, sell a few horses, move them on, and then buy a few store horses as well. So the whole circle and cycle starts again, Harley. Don't be long coming around. It's a fair little hamster wheel. There's not much time for us. Uh, yeah, but yeah, fly out there tomorrow morning. Uh, two of us and yeah there's uh, 16 horse over there on the sale so look, we're very busy um, we'll buy a couple of stores but we like to, to keep a more selective to Ireland um, with the sterling and stuff it's, and it's hard to buy them over there um, so yeah we might hopefully pick up a couple and but the main focus is uh, the selling. So well done today good way to finish the season um, best of luck in Doncaster enjoy the few days and uh, looking forward to getting back out on the boat now with a few quiet weeks ahead Jeez, yeah, we'll make our service so we make a morning service, don't I say? <laughs> she's, she's sitting in his place, not even a she hover. I say, we want a power washer. Oh, no, she has a she hover. She she. look, I've looked after her. But the most important thing is we won't be getting Harley to hitch her up because uh, very dangerous. Last <laughs> time <laughs> 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 she ended up in the field. No, but that's, that's too live. Your man might figure out who broke his gate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm sure he doesn't watch races inside track. <laughs>